there are fundamentally two challenges to curve bending. The first one is that you need to make some calculations. You need to know the angle that you want to bend, you need to know the thickness of your material, your blade, and so on and so forth, so that your curves and your bending can be accurate. The second one is that if you hand draw a shape, then it becomes a bit difficult to make those calculations for those sort of handmade uh, curves. So I'm going to show you how to use a very simple tool like this one to uh, make your curve bending much simpler. Enjoy! So let me tell you how this tool works. It's uh, fairly simple and it's basically uh, a pre-calculated set of values. So you have, on the one hand, you have a set of numbers printed on the part. So you have the uh, radius of your curve, you have the thickness of your material, you have the thickness of your blade. And then on the right hand side, you have basically what comes out of calculating your curve with these parameters. So you have 66 uh, curves for a full 360 degree turn, so if you wanted to bend on a full circle, and each of those curves uh, represents 5.5 degrees. So if I wanted to uh, bend uh, around uh, 55 degrees, then I only need to calculate or to use 10 of the little curves that are pre-made on the template. So let me show you how this works. So let's say that I want to bend um, at an angle of uh, it could be any angle, let's say 55 degrees, uh, starting from this point. Now the way the tool works, or the template works, is very straightforward. You align any, any of the edges of these uh, uh, markings of the curves with your line, let's say like that. And the only thing you need to do is you need to count 10 uh, uh, little uh, indentations that they need to leave a mark on your wood. So if I want to do, uh, let's say the first one will be my number one, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I'm going to mark the last one right there. So if I'm going to make a line through this one. And uh, now that uh, the markings are done, so you can see how the tool leaves a little indentation right there. You can also mark them with a pen or with a pencil if you wanted. Then the only thing I need to do is basically, you know, draw the lines of the cuts that I need to make. There you go. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are 10 curves and uh, each of these curves uh, represents 5.5 uh, degrees. So this is going to bend a total of 55 degrees. So if you wanted to do a different angle, you divide by 5.5 and you approximately use the closest and integral number as the number of lines that you have to cut. Now this is fine tuned for this particular thickness, which is 12 millimeters and the thickness of my blade, which is 1.15 but this can be fine-tuned for anything. And remember, this is going to make a radius of 50 millimeters, so five centimeters. So let me cut it and then show you how this works. Okay, so I've made the cuts and you can see they're not completely perfect, but the beginning and the end, they start where they should be. And even though the distribution is not completely uh, uniform, then this doesn't matter too much for such a small bend. But what you can see is that when you bend this all the way to you know, to the limit of its bend, which is when the inner sides of the uh, wood uh, uh, are touching, so there are no more spaces in between. You can see how this matches perfectly, or quite accurately, the radius of the tool that we have used. And furthermore, if you would um, uh, calculate the angle of this, then you will realize that this is indeed a f an approximately 55 degree angle. So there you go. One tool for a very simple bend and you can get this in for different radiuses, different curve, uh, different uh, wood uh, thicknesses and different blade sizes and this is like a pre-calculation or you know physical calculator on your hand that allows you to do the uh, bends uh, very easily. 
There is one more use case for these tools, especially when you have more than one for different uh, diameters or radiuses, which is uh, if you want to hand draw uh, the curve uh, of the shape that you want to bend, it's very difficult to make the calculations for the number of curves because everything is hand drawn, so you don't know what angle, what radius, and so on. So this can help you approximate your hand drawn curve for with uh, real uh, numbers, so you can make the calculations easier. Let me show you how it's done. So let's say that you want to uh, hand draw the curve that you want to bend. I'm going to do something rather simple, something like this, and then like that. And now the question is, if I want to bend this shape, then how can I do this, right? Uh, because I don't know where things start or go and so on. So the way this template will be used is by simply using it to approximate the radius of the, the curves of the, of the bends. So let's say that I want to, you know, if you place this one in the right position, then you would say, well, this is approximately a curve between this point and this point. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this means there are 12 curves needed for a 50 millimeter radius. Now, you can also use it to, you know, make the curves or the turns uh, a bit more accurate. So you could use it like this and then say, well, I'm going to make this drawing like that. And then this gives you the curve that is completely perfect with a 50 uh, uh, millimeter radius. So this means that you can break down your curve into, let's say, straight bar right here, uh, 50 uh, millimeter portion right here. Then you can continue with another straight portion right there. And if you would use the same procedure right here, so let's say like this. And you could say, well, I want to use this section between here and here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So you will have, again, this will be 50, and this is 22 curves between these two portions. So there you go, using one tool, and you can use multiple diameters to approximate or to convert your hand curve to something precise where you know the angles, you know the radiuses, and you know exactly how to replicate this particular shape in your bend. So that's it. I was basically tired of having to open or find a calculator online to do the calculations or to do the calculations with math and a pen every single time. And I was tired of having to uh, uh, know exactly what angles and what radiuses I wanted to do at every time. So I built this to you know, make the process a bit easier. If you want to get them, they are in millimeters, I will leave a link in the description. And if you want them in inches or you know, some other metric or some other uh, measuring system, uh, drop me a message and I will make the 3D models. Um, you can just 3D print it. It takes about three hours or so to print uh, each of these templates. And you can print them in a bunch of uh, diameters for your typical specifications, which is the thickness of the wood and the thickness of your blade and this will basically give you all the calculations that you need just on your hands no more uh, no need to open your computer or your laptop or to do some crazy extra calculations a very simple to use um, hand tool so i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching